Good afternoon my friends. Today I'm going to talk about a different subject. This time it's forgiveness. Forgiveness. It's a very complex concept and I wasn't aware of the importance of forgiveness until a couple of days ago where I was when I was in Bogota in Colombia and I attended a lecture, seminar, workshop I would say dictated by coach uh, Silvia Corso or my master Silvia Corso she's really good at it and she made a big impact in my life as you all know through the, through the last year I've been facing several challenging circumstances in my life including the death of my father a week ago then, but before that many other things were happening and sometimes I felt frustrated I felt afraid I felt angry and these negative feelings well sometimes they are not good and they cannot they don't allow allow you to move forward and to reach your goals so the first thing that it's important to understand is that forgiving is not easy it's not something that I decide fast it's not something that sometimes I say hey I'm gonna forgive because sometimes we don't want to forgive we hold to that so if once you decide to forgive, you have done 80% of the task. You have to learn only the other 20. This how to learn how to do it. But if you want to forgive, you will do it. And you'll find a way. There are many ways. Many ways of doing it. But the important thing is you decide to do it. When you are angry, when you are frustrated, and you don't forgive, that holds you back that will not allow you to reach your goals, to go and comply with your objectives. You need to forgive you know, in order to move forward and, may, and reach your goals in a more easy way. If you don't forgive, if you hold on to that anger and that frustration, you're not going to make things easier for you and for the people around you. So that is the important thing. Also, forgiving it's not something you do once and it's not instant. It's a continued effort, a continuous effort. It's something you do day after day. It's a process. It's not a one-time action. So we have to be aware of these things because sometimes people say, hey, I cannot forgive, I cannot forgive. Yes, you cannot forgive instantly. But if you take the time and you do this with method and if you look at the elements around it, you will find it easier and in time you will forgive. And once you forgive, you liberate yourself and you liberate the person that made you angry at that, and, and the aggressor that probably made you feel the way you're feeling. So the elements that we have to identify are the elements of empathy, fear, anger, ego, guilt, all these elements play a role in the forgiving process. Empathy is very important because it's the way where we identify where the people or the person that hurt us, where, where this person comes from. Empathy. And probably this person was angry at us because it was afraid. Remember, anger is a consequence of fear. Animals are attack us and show their, their, their anger because they are afraid. So if we have access to the whole picture, if we can identify where this person comes from and what was the big fear behind that that produced this or terrible aggression against us, that will make it easier for us to forgive because we understand and once we understand, we we are not afraid and we release our anger and when we release our anger we are able to forgive it's important to understand that forgiving is not justifying when we forgive it doesn't mean that what the other person was right and it doesn't mean that it didn't hurt us what what means is it's not hurting us anymore it's not generating frustration and fear so this energy that is everywhere, and I'm not talking about the new era energy, I'm talking real energy, everything is energy. So this energy that was focused on being angry and being frustrated can refocus in achieving our goals. And many people 
that have struggled with situations suddenly after forgiveness find it easier to reach their goals. Several examples of this were given to us during the workshop. It's, it's amazing. Forgiveness is a great contribution. So this is basically the elements involved and, uh, in, in, the, in the forgiving and in the way we feel about before forgiving. There is also another element that is very relevant and it's self-forgiving. We need to forgive ourselves. Sometimes we are not aware that we are angry with ourselves and we don't forgive ourselves. So we are attacking ourselves in, the, in a double way. And we, we are losing a lot of energy with this anger. And that is because of guilt, the other element, very important. We, we feel guilty and we feel angry with ourselves. And sometimes people don't want to forgive others or themselves. So we need to understand why do we feel guilty, where this guilt comes, why, why are we afraid? Are we afraid of losing the love of another person? Are we, are we afraid of losing a job, of not having money? And once we understand that, it will be, make it easier for us to have, through this empathy, to understand where we come from and forgive ourselves. Guilt is very, very harmful and we need to learn to manage it. And also fear, because fear transforms into anger and that is where the aggression comes. And that is where every mutual aggression comes from, comes from fear, even wars and even nuclear wars. So we have to be very careful with fear. We need to calm down, understand things and that will release the fear and will release the anger and will improve our lives. This is the whole concept and the understanding of, of all these elements. And I, of course, we all know these elements exist, but I hadn't been aware of how they interact in these frustration and anger feelings and, uh, and how managing well, we can get to release the anger and forgive. And the ego plays a very important role in this because the ego always wants to win, it's competitive. So we need to educate our ego, teach him, oh, you don't always have to be number one. It's okay to be number two. And if you don't uh, get your things done this time, there'll be a second chance. You'll get it done at some point. So here we come to an example she gave us comparing life to the purchase game. There is this board where the, all the pegs are there and they move. Many times we feel we are the peg, but we are not the peg. We are the one who moves the peg. And we should envision our life like that. And, we, and when we do that, we understand that are, there are good moments and not moments that are not this good. Sometimes we win the game. Sometimes we have to spend some time in the punishing uh, square in the game and lose some turns. But at the end of the day, if we understand we are the ones that move the peg, we will know where we want to get and we will get there. That is very, very important. Um, fear. Fear needs to be compensated with love. This is what Neil Walsh says. She cited him and I have read many of his books. So if we act with love, we won't get, we won't get involved in this fear-anger circle. We will go above it. If we don't act with love, we will act with fear. And if we act with fear, at some point we will get angry, we will hurt other people, and we will be hurt, get hurt by other people. So to avoid all this process, act with love. That is very important conclusion from, from, from this workshop. That, that is probably the most important conclusion from this workshop. What can I tell you about myself? I learned two things. Thank God I don't have to forgive many things and the things that I need to forgive aren't as bad as I thought. Of course, everyone has their own reality and the fact that uh, the things you have to forgive are not as bad as your neighbor doesn't mean they're not hurting you, you should, so you need to forgive. The other thing and the method is uh, she showed us on how to reach forgiveness. It's imagine is your attic and you are putting things in order and you have to go to one place and get rid of some things and that will facilitate the process. But you have to do it in a continuing way. It's not something that we do once. Because once you clean your attic, you start putting things back in. So you have to go from time to time and look at it and 
get rid of the things that are not making any good for you. So this is important. Continuous process, put order in your attic. This is the way to get close to the, to the forgiving stage. And the other thing is the method she used. She told us there are many methods. Some people write letters, put them, even if they don't send it, if you write the letter, you get your bad uh, feelings out and it will make it easier to forgive. Sometimes you can make a video with your cell phone. You just look at it, say all the things you want, say, I want to forgive, and this will work. And But you don't do it just once. You have to do it several times because people get frustrated. Oh, I tried it and I couldn't forgive. It's very hard for me to forgive. Be patient. You have to do it several times. And in time, someday you will wake up. Hey, I'm not angry anymore. And the way to know you forgave is when you think about these horrible things that happened and they don't hurt you. That's the way. When you don't feel anger, you forgive. This is, this is very valuable to get rid of these negative feelings because you recover this energy. The forgiving process is liberator. It liberates you and liberates the other person. And while with all this new energy, you will be capable of focusing on your goals and reaching them in a more effective way. So this is a whole process. It's, it's, it's a system. It's not just, I want to forgive. The other thing is the method she used. She showed us through meditation, how we could visualize the person and the circumstances we want to forgive and say it uh, after meditating for a couple of minutes. And that will help you release this bad energy and this anger. And at some point uh, you will forgive. And, and it's not that you do it once, as I tell you, probably you have to do it several times. And probably when you do it and you have a specific thing you have to do, it will make it easier. Some people can uh, get rid of a negative job, get rid of a bad relationship, get rid of a negative habit like smoking or something like that. So this will help you in many aspects. And the method, there are many, as I told you and as she told us. And I understand and I, I, I agree with that. It, the important thing is Make the decision to forgive, identify the elements about that, and once you have that, try one method that will allow you to forgive. So this was a very, very constructive and very uh, teaching experience with Silvia Corso. Silvia, congratulations. Your workshop is exceptional. I was very, very uh, excited after that, and as days go by, I think and think and learn more things of all your words and all the notes I, I took about what you said. The conclusion. I don't need to forgive as much as I thought, and that is a great conclusion. And I'm sure uh, with this method and understanding these concepts, I am going to be able to move forward very, very quickly with the forgiveness process. And the second one, I need to learn a lot. I need to learn a lot. Uh, it's uh, sometimes we think we know many things, but then you realize you know very little. I need to learn more through reading, through interacting, through uh, maybe attending other uh, events like this one that give me examples of uh, how to manage these internal things that affect us in our daily life. Um, yes, this is the good thing about this workshop. It They use a lot of ideas, a lot of content, the spiritual content, but focused on making you improve your day-to-day -day life. That, is, that should be what this is about, and it is about that, and it's a very effective. So I recommend Silvia Corso uh, very, very much. I am grateful with Silvia, with all the people who attended, that were so generous to share their personal situations, to share the handicaps, and the, and the challenges they have with the for, forgiving process. That, that, that is very, very valuable. So thank you very much. And thank you all for seeing this video. I'm ho I hope you can get some lessons from this and some practical uses that will help you improve your life as well. And I recommend attend Silvia's uh, uh, workshops when you have an opportunity, if you ever visit Colombia. And she's going to be posting some material online. So this is going to be very good. The last thing, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go to YouTube. You can see it there. There is the red sign. You press subscribe and then the little bell. You get notifications and I will be sharing more uh, recipes, the sports content, 
uh, events like this, the ones I, that I do in Colombia, that I do in Mexico, that I do in LA, that I do at the University of Southern California, you'll get some interesting insights of these experiences that are so valued. Thank you so much and I hope to see you all soon.